But the way that you're downloading information is so incredibly interesting. And is it something where it's audible, like you hear something, or is it something that you feel? Is it like a vibration? How do you experience your downloads? So the way that it happened at first was that I would feel some pressure coming in from the right side. And it's kind of like in computer language, it would be like blobs of data. So I'd feel like this blob of consciousness come close to me on the right-hand side. And then I would feel that blob and feel into the energy of that to decide, oh, well, what word best matches a description of the way that blob feels to me? (laughs) And then the word would just come and I would feel the energetic of that blob. And then maybe a whole paragraph would come out of it. And then I would go back and double check like that. Did I get that correctly? Now it's more seamless. So I'm often channeling during interviews like this. Like when I get on a roll, people who are sensitive can feel the energetic come in and they just know to stand back and just let the whole thing come through. So I've just gotten more seamless with how it comes in. And part of the process of that seamlessness was with working with a second wave book and channeling that, the energetic of working with White Eagle was very clear to me from a mind perspective. Like it was more mind-based energetics. I was parsing all the information through my mind. After that book, I was invited to write Love is Fierce, which is Love is Fierce Healing the Mother Wound. And this book was White Buffalo Calf Woman, came through it to work with me on that book. And I worked on that book for about two years, a little over two years. And when I first started that book, it was extremely difficult for me <laughs> to channel or to understand what I was to put in the book because I couldn't hear White Buffalo Calf Woman the same way I could hear White Eagle. White Eagle was so easy for me to hear then. White Buffalo Calf Woman's message being the divine feminine was so subtle that it took a while for me to get still enough inside of me to actually hear it because it comes through the heart and it comes through the body. And so it's a different form of processing that's happening. So that process of working through that two years with her on the other book, the Love is Fierce book, it really helped me to deepen into my quietness inside so that now when I do broadcasts, it's very natural. Like I'm often channeling the whole time, but I'm just so seamless with it that it seems like it's just me talking off the cuff, but I'm actually listening to what is wanting to be said. And I'm just feeling it. And it's more seamless because I'm able to integrate my experience with the energies that want to come through me so that I can communicate it more clearly. And there's a word for that, my design, which is um, a psychopomp. A psychopomp is like a channel between worlds. A psychopomp is able to channel energetics between different dimensions of reality. And so one time, and so some people call themselves mediums that are like that, like energetics can come inside of you and they speak through you. It's unsettling the first time it happened to me, it was really unsettling because I was at lunch with a friend and we'd had a couple glasses of wine. His dead aunt came through me to speak to him. And, and it was, she was saying things I didn't know anything about. Like I have never read the Bible. She was saying quotes, scriptures from the Bible for him and things like that. And I, and telling him he needed to be cautious and warning him about some things that were coming up. And, and then when she left, I felt like this no, no offense to my friend's aunt, but I just felt this icky residue inside of me. And I thought, I don't, I'm not open for that. Like, I don't want beings coming into my being and doing that. So I made this choice not to allow that. So that's why the energetic comes to my field. It comes close to me. It's in my field so I can parse the information. I can translate the information. Although I I feel safe with White Eagle, so I will allow White Eagle to come through me, you know? So that's been a long process of building the trust to allow that to happen because of fear, right? Because of fear of like the unknown and the unspaces and is what's in the unknown space beneficial for us 
or is it not beneficial? Mm -hmm. And how do you discern if it's beneficial or not beneficial? And so this has been a long process of my testing and tweaking these things to get more and more safe. Like what energetics will I allow to come through me for the collective? Yes. And I know that you work with people to help them also have discernment around what's safe and what they're ready for. So I wanted to start with this program that you have called Calling All Earth Mamas. And because first of all, I love that title. And I think that we're in a time right now where yes, the goddesses are being called and you know, the different goddesses within all of us. And I don't just mean